Hi guys, this is Mr. Rego. And today we're learning how to use the midpoint formula. So we're looking for the xm, ym. Okay? So, first thing we do is we label our points. This is going to be my first point, this is going to be my second point. So this is x1, y1, and this is x2, y2. That's the first thing that I do. And now I'm going to replace my midpoint formula. So it's going to be x1, which is negative 5, plus x2, which is 3, divided by 2, comma, and then y1, which is 5, plus y2, divided by 2. And from there, I just solve. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2, divided by 2, comma, 5 plus 1 is 6, divided by 2. And then we simplify. And negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And that's it. That's how we use the midpoint formula. Let's do another one with a couple of fractions. Now, before we do the second problem, let's see what graphically is having two, two points on the corner plane. So these are the two points on the corner plane, and this will be the midpoint. And as you can see, this, this side is the same as that side. The length is the same. That's why it's called midpoint. All right, now let's go back to our problem. Okay, guys, now this is our second problem, and I'm going to find the midpoint between these two, two, two points. And this is our formula. And now, xm, ym, and as we know, it's going to be adding, we label our points x1, y1, x2, y2. It doesn't matter the order, by the way. This could be my first point, and it could be my second point. It does not matter the order. As long as you have 1, 1, and then 2, and 2 on the same order pair. Okay? All right, so x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And that's both the values of x. And we do the same thing for y. 2 plus negative 5 divided by 2. Okay? And from there, we got to solve. Now, remember, if I'm finding fractions and they have the same denominator, I just add the top. 1 plus 5 is 6 divided by 2 over 2. So 1 half plus 5 over 2 is the same as 6 over 2. Comma. 2 plus negative 5, positive negative becomes negative, so 2 minus 5 is negative 3 over 2. And from here, I simplify, I reduce. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and there's nothing to simplify here. So my midpoint is going to be 3, 3 halves comma negative 3 over 2. Okay? Now, what about if they give me the midpoint, but they ask me for one of the endpoints? By the way, these two are the endpoints of my segment, and this is the, the graph. So these are the two points, and those are called endpoints. When we're looking for, for the midpoint, it's halfway between those two. All right? What about now if I have the midpoint and one of the endpoints, and the question is the other endpoint? So what do we do? Here we go. Now, in this case, the midpoint is given, and one of the endpoints is given. Okay? So you need to realize that this is my midpoint, and x1, y1 is one endpoint and x2, y2 is the other endpoint. Now, I need to label those. This is my midpoint, so this is x, m, y, m. That's the whole trick. And this could be x1, y1 or x2, y2. It does not matter. I'm going to call it x2, y2. It could be x1, y1. It does not matter at all. So now it's a matter of just replacing. So let's plug it back in. So here I'll have negative 1 comma 4 equals, okay, and in the other side is going to be parenthesis x1, right, plus x2, which in this case is 2, divided by 2, comma, and then y1, which I have no idea how much it is, plus y2, which is 6, divided by 2. So this is the whole trick. Now what happens? Now, what I, the idea is, remember, x is my first value, y is the second value, okay? But in my formula, this is x, and the second part is y. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the x and make it equal to the x, to this part. And then we take the y and we make it equal to the y. And from there, we find the value of x and y. Let's do one at a time. So from this equation, we're going to take the x negative 1, and it's going to be equal to the first part, which is the x part, x1 plus 2 divided by 2. 
And my second equation would be 4 equals y1 plus 6 divided by 2. Okay? And that's how we got x equals to x and the y equals to y. This is the x coordinate equal to the x coordinate and the y coordinate equals to the y coordinate. From here, the first step is to get rid of the 2. So this 2 that is divided, I got to multiply. If I do it on one side, I do it on the other side. So 2 times negative 1 is going to give me negative 2. This 2 cancels with the 2 that is divided, and I'll have x1 plus 2. Minus 2, minus 2, and I'll have negative 4 equals x1. And this is my first coordinate of the order pair that I'm looking for, the R endpoint. Same thing with the, the y. Multiply by both sides. This 2 cancels this 2. And here I'll have 2 times 4, which is 8. And on the right side, I have y1 plus 6. Minus 6, minus 6, because I need to leave the y by itself. Okay? So it cancels here, and a minus 6 is going to give me 2, and that's equal to y1. So the other endpoint that I was looking for is going to be negative 4, comma, 2. And this will be your answer. Okay, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Please comment, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.